You're watching Barnesville this morning. Joining me now is Ed O'Toole. He is the director for Twelfth Night. It's a presentation or a production that is happening here at Cape Cod Community College. Right. Uh, I know you've you recently retired from Barnesville High School Drama Club That's and uh, right. being a teacher at Barnesville High School. What made you want to get back in the action and come over here to Cape Cod uh, Community College? I think everybody just likes to keep his or her hand in the game, and uh, when they. Uh, when the opportunity came along and they said they were going to do, they wanted to do Twelfth Night, I said, oh, I've heard of that, and maybe I can help them out with that. So and it's been a great experience. Now, is this a group of students uh, putting on Twelfth Night, or are there other people involved? The core of the cast and the production team, or the crew, is drawn from the rehearsal and performance class. And, uh, but we had open auditions, and we have students from who are currently at the community college, also some alums and um, a couple of theater veterans from community theater and so forth. So it's, it's, a, it's a kind of a, it's a motley crew. I like it. It must be really fun for some of these people too, who have maybe graduated from Cape Cod Community College and get to come back. What an experience, because sometimes you miss that sort of thing. Oh, sure. And there is a great deal of camaraderie. And uh, I compare it to being you know, part of a sports team where everybody, to steal from Belichick, you do your job. and with any luck it all comes out in the end and, and, and it becomes this precision timed instrument that just brings entertainment to people but uh, yeah and, and it's fun to be part of this something bigger than yourself. I think Twelfth Night is probably one of the the Shakespeare plays that I am really not familiar with. Tell me a little bit about it. So sorry to hear that Yeah. but <laughs> uh, in a nutshell it's about a woman who disguises herself as a man who go and she goes to work for a man who sends her to a woman that he loves in disguise as a man to tell that woman that he loves her, but the woman doesn't love him. She winds up falling in love with the messenger who's the woman disguised as a man, and the woman disguised as a man is actually in love with her employer. So there you go. So and it, it'll be, it sounds like a fun, Oh no, it's a complete, funny show. Yeah, it's a complete raucous, funny comedy. It's full of slapstick and, uh, it's, it's really goofy. There are four or so comedies that they call Shakespeare's golden comedies because they're just uh, so full of, um, oh, just love, really. And, and there's all different kinds of love in this one. Some is unrequited, but uh, there's love between a brother and a sister who are separated and brought back together. There's um, love from a distance, and there's hidden love, and it's just, uh, and very romantic at the end. And, uh, Who doesn't but, like a great romance? I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> sign me up. Send and one my way. At the same time, I think that's the best <laughs> yeah. mix. No, it is. And and this is uh, and it's a great piece for students because it's an ensemble piece. There's uh, there are about six or eight meaty parts that have uh, an equivalent number of lines, so it, it doesn't fall on one person to carry. It's not like doing Hamlet. And uh, we're using jazz music and original compositions by uh, Cam Hall. Uh, who is playing music as the jester in the play. And uh, in that sense, it's it just the fun never stops. So tell us when we can come see it and how to get tickets. Sure. It's uh, going up on November 3rd, which is uh, Thursday. So we'll have shows on Thursday, Friday, Saturday night. We will also have matinees on Saturday and Sunday at 2. And then the next weekend, we go up on the 10th, which is Thursday. And then we have a show on uh, Veterans Day, to which any service member, current or past, will be admitted for free. And then we have uh, two shows on Saturday the 12th, the matinee at 2, and an evening show at 7. And then we uh, close the run on Sunday the 13th at 2 o'clock. Now, is it tough when you're, you're how long does it take to, to get the this, this show ready and work the lines and get all the actors ready well, and the stage? I mean, the set's got to be a big deal yep. as well. This, this has been a great communal experience because um, I have uh, Matthew Kohler, who's a well-known Cape-wide set designer, who did the set and he's done the lights. And of course, there's a team here of people, Vanna Trudeau, Kendra Murphy, Brian Rice, who just know everything about theater. Everything I don't know, they know, and that's a lot. And uh, between them and the student crew, it has so far not particle board. It really has gone smoothly. For the, for the students who are in the play, it's a challenge to do Shakespeare because of the unfamiliarity with the language. But you know what? Over the years, I've found that students say Shakespeare is actually, in many ways, more easy to memorize than contemporary dialogue because of the, of the beauty of the language, the images, and, uh, and the rhythm. So we started in 
about September 20th or so, give or take a day, and they're up to snuff now. We had a great run through last night, so we're really looking forward to it. What do you hope attendees take away from, from the experience of attending that play? Well, a few things. One, and I guess these are the same that I always have felt over the years that I've been doing this. One, on a, from a theatrical point of view, I suppose, we want to show that Shakespeare is for everybody and that there's something in every single play for anybody, young, too old, and that it's not unapproachable. And I also want people to leave saying, wow, look at what these students do. Now, uh, these are students from your own communities, from your own high schools, some um, uh, from off Cape, and, and they have set themselves a goal and said, I can reach that goal. And I'm, I'm very proud of them for that, and I think we need to see just what our young people can do. And the third thing is the arts. I mean, this is arts education, and there's so much that's involved in putting on a play, from memorizing the lines, to designing costumes, to painting the set, to uh, working on the lights, and so forth. And people forget the importance of the arts in everyone's lives. This is an enriching experience. If you leave here after laughing for two hours, or going to a, a serious Shakespeare play and coming out and, be, and feeling moved in another way, it takes you out of the world for a while, and uh, this is a world lately that <laughs> It's been a little crazy. That's right. We could all use a little bit of a break, a little oh, bit of yeah. laughter, a little bit of entertainment. Yeah. And uh, thank you so much for telling Thanks. us all about the show. And I can't well, wait to meet members of the cast. Great. And well, they're here anxious to meet you. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you, everybody. I have with me some actors in the Twelfth Night cast, Shauna Joseph and Cameron Hall. Thank you both so much for joining me. What made you want to be a part of this production? Well, I've been in several productions here at the college, um, and uh, I thought that doing Shakespeare uh, would be would be a good challenge because I've only done it once before at this college, and um, it was uh, a Scottish play, and it was uh, very very challenging to take on Shakespearean dialect, and I wanted to revisit that challenge two years later. How about you, Shauna? Um, I really love theater. I've been doing it for pretty much my entire life, and. Um, I major in theater and I want to do it for the rest of my life and I thought this would be a good opportunity to just act on the stage again after a year of taking it off. And I mostly do tech stuff but this has been like a really great experience getting to do Shakespeare for the first time and getting to learn a whole new different form of acting and I just, I love being on the stage so. It's a really great experience. <laughs> is it tiring? Because I think by the time you put in so many hours practicing, learning those lines, and the shows themselves, uh, are you typically exhausted after a production like this? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it kills you and brings you back to life. Um, and it's cool to hit your stride while you're doing it, to get your second wind, and once you're comfortable with your lines and you know where to go and you know who you're working with and what to expect from it, uh, there's a rush that uh, you can get something different from with every performance, you know, it's got an arc. In the beginning, you, you're, you're riding the high of doing it in the first night, and it's so adrenaline pumping, and then you, you, you strive to maintain that energy, and it, uh, you know, it, it varies like an ebbing and flowing tide, and you, uh, you just get to see how it changes your life over the period of time that you uh, really start from auditions to final strike of the set. It's, uh, it's very introspective and a great bonding experience amongst cast and crewmates and um, there's just so much to take away from it. It's like months after it's all said and done, you still, you feel the momentum of the entire experience. Now, were either of you familiar with Twelfth Night before uh, getting involved in the production? Yeah, I mean, I read it in high school and so I knew the story and everything like that, but I kind of had forgotten it and also, like being in high school, it's a little bit harder to understand what you're like reading and everything. And it's a whole different thing when you're reading it just for a class versus performing it. Because when you perform the lines and everything, you need to know exactly what you're saying because the audience needs to know what you're saying and everything. So it's a whole new like perspective and I mean, it's good to kind of revisit that story and get more things that I missed when I was reading it in high school. What do you think that attendees of the play will take away from the play, or, or what do you think they'll enjoy most? Um, you can take liberties with the environment that Shakespeare dabbles with. I mean, of course, you, you, you would expect to have the uh, Renaissance exposition, all of the you know, things that you would associate the bard with, but um, 
you know, we've got a New Orleans Mardi Gras style theme going on, and it's interesting how you can mix and match things. I mean, of course, the dialogue is going to be what it is, and you're going to have the drama and the humor of it maintain the same for every show. But you can um, you can do some really crazy stuff with Shakespeare, which I which I love. It's a very open template. Wonderful. Well, you guys, good luck. Thank you so much for joining me, and I uh, can't wait to check it out. We really appreciate it. Thank you for having us.